hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will fix the issue with the player location so as you know that in most of the games whenever we restart that game okay or we play the game it give us a main menu first of all okay it doesn't start the game directly of course it shows the menu and from the menu we can start a new game or we can continue where we left our game okay so if you saw the introductory video in the introductory video we also have that menu we can continue our game from where we left or also we can start the game again so the issue with our player in which the player location doesn't reset whenever we load the game or continue the game this issue will be fixed when we will be creating our main menu okay or you can say that when we will come from our main menu to this game scene okay then our player location will be the player house okay whenever we load the game so by creating the main menu it will simply fix this issue okay so for the main menu if we go ahead inside this scene folder right here we have this sample scene okay and let's just simply rename this scene to main menu click on reload and right here on this scene we will be creating our main menu but as you know that this section is for the save and load function so that's why we will not be focusing on the ui in this video we just want to fix the issue with our player location okay so right here if we go ahead and create a ui legacy button right here let's name this button as continue and if we click on this transform of this button let's make it middle center and if you check the game you right here we have this button okay we can also change the text inside of this button to continue okay now on this continue we will load our game okay where we left so now if we get back to the scripts folder right here in the ui let's go ahead and create a new c sharp script by the name of main menu and now on this canvas we will drag and drop the main menu script now let's go ahead and open this up and inside the script we will type all of our functions okay for continuing the game for starting the game or for the quitting the game but for now we just have the continue button so we will use just that function but we will type the code for the other buttons as well in this video so if we go ahead right here at the top first of all we need to add a package which is unity engine dot scene management then down below let's create a public tool by the name of continue game and let's by default equal this to false okay and then after this let's create a public static main menu and let's name this as instance this will be an instance for our main menu then in the awake function let's first of all unlock the cursor because if we are on the main menu we want the cursor to be unlocked so we'll say cursor dot lock state and this will be equals to cursor lock mode dot none then down below we will say instance equals to this and let's just simply create a function for continuing the game okay let's just leave the start and quit button function for now because we will do that in our upcoming videos when we will be working on our main menu okay so let's create a function by the name of on continue button and right here first of all we will debug a message by the name of continue so that we know that yes the game is continuing and then we will set the continue bool to true because yes the game is continuing and then we will say scene manager dot load scene and let's call this scene which is by the name of town okay this is our scene in which we have our old game make sure that you type your own scene name right here but if you name it as town then it will be a good thing now this will be a function for continuing the game now if we get back to unity first of all let me show you the 
scene name okay so that you don't get confused if we see our town right here in this town scene we have our own game okay now before doing anything click on build settings and right here as you know whenever the game start we will first show the main menu so if you click on the scene let's drag and drop the main menu in there then after the main menu we will drag and drop the town because after the menu we will show the town okay so just add your scene one by one right there and now open up the scripts and open up the player script right here let's create a reference to our player script because on the player script we can save we can call the save player function and also the load player function okay so we will add a reference to that then as you know that we have added a reference uh, we have created an instance for our main menu so now right here inside the awake function we will say that if main menu dot instance dot continue game and the continue game bool is set to true okay then we want to call the load player function okay so we will say player dot load player okay and if you check the player script right here we have this load player function and we have already created a reference to our player script so what this means that it means that if the continue game is set to true on the main menu then we will simply load the game and as you know that whenever we press on this continue button we will set the continue game to true and it means that yes we are continuing our game where we left it so it will simply continue our game now just simply save that get back to unity if we click on the canvas we have the main menu script right there okay now if we click on this continue button right here let's add a on click event and drag and drop our canvas right there and then go inside the main menu and select the on continue function on this button okay and now whenever we click on this button it will simply play our game so now let me click on maximize okay and now let's play the game but actually before playing the game let's get back to our town scene right here on the time town uh, scene if we click on player and then player script right here make sure that you drag and drop your player script okay or else it will give you an error okay so make sure that you add the script right there and then after adding the script get back to the main menu now let's maximize it again and then let's play the game okay so the game is being running now let's click on continue button okay now you will notice that it will continue our game right here as you can see we have our own money which is 580 dollars okay and if we check the missions right here uh, as you know we have completed our first mission okay in our previous video so it is showing that meet frank in the police station which is our second mission so it means that yes our first mission is being completed and if we check our inventory as you can see we have the handgun right here okay we can take out the handgun we can shoot some bullets if you want as you can see so now our mission is being loaded successfully back in we have our money right there and we have the weapons and as you know if when we load our game it start the game from where we save it so in this way you can now create your own main menu and then from the main menu it will just perfectly fine work as you saw right here just like a miracle okay so in this way you can fix your issue in which the player doesn't get back to where we save the game so as you can see that issues is being fixed and the mission has been loaded back in the money as well the player location and the weapons as well okay so with this done our save and load system works perfectly fine okay and let me test it out to you one more time again if we click on maximize let's play the game okay as you know the game is being played let's click on continue as you know the game is being continued we have now as you can see the same amount of money and we have the 
second mission right here okay and we have the weapon in the inventory as you can see so now our save and load system is working perfectly fine and i hope it works for you too okay and if you have any problems then feel free to ask me okay i will help you in it but as you can see everything worked just like a miracle and with this done i will catch you guys in the next one